Now, this logo basically should go to the root URL like when clicked. So it should actually be wrapped inside of link. And for that, we're going to use reach router package. So for routing, so I'll say npm install reach router. In order for me to configure this reach router, what I'm going to do is just head over to reach router documentation. And if you go over here, it's giving you the configuration, how to do it. So it says pull the router from this package and go to your app.js. Okay, we don't need link here. And then wrap your entire app application inside of router. Let me do that. So I'm going to wrap the application inside of router. Uh, basically wrap all your components inside a router. And then make sure you put path for each of the component inside of it. So home should go to slash, which is root. So when we create more components, more pages, basically, then we're going to put more URLs. But for this, this is good. So for routing, you've got this root URL. And then for the link, you should import the link again from reach router. So I'm going to go over to my header and import just the link we don't need router here and then it says use this link so i'm going to say link i'm going to wrap this logo inside of a link closing tag okay and now i also have to restart the development server and going back to app.js is actually going to be like so okay closing tag and now if i refresh there you go take a look inside of div you have div logo you have a you have hrf so you can see that it's already converted that into a link within hrf if you click on it it goes to the home page and let's create another page here let's name it as okay uh again i'm lazy so i'm just going to copy this go to topics paste it rename top picks and then i'm just going to say h1 top picks and i'm going to do some lorem ipsum and then for this topics i have to put the routing as well so i'll go back to app.js and as it's described here you can put all of your components with routing here so i'm going to put that one as well oops this will be top picks and path is going to be just top picks and make sure to put the um, link for this as well so before we create a link just want to show you it works so you refresh say so top picks you see you've got topics now i'm on this url topics and now topics content is being loaded which is great right okay great so our routes have been created which is amazing i'm going to close the app.js this is good now we'll continue with the development now we need the nav basically so for nav go to header uh we need to create a component called nav so inside of layout i'll create nav again i'll copy some code nav we don't need all of this remove it and name it as nav and inside of this nav i'm just going to paste some content and explain to you what is happening there so i've just pasted a bunch of div elements and the nav so this div with an idea of navigation you've got some class name you've got nav tag ulli simple stuff the first one is a standard link that goes to Netflix. No opener, no ref. It's twice. Browse recent. Uh, then we are using the link from the reach router. So we need to import it. So link. Link from reach router. And then it's going to topics. Remember that we have just created a route and we've named it as We've named this route as topics and that's going to serve our topics page. 
so that's why we've created this particular link over here in our nav okay and then the next link is just external link okay that's it that's all there in the nav all we have to do is put the nav in the header so i'm going to go outside of this and make it as nav that's it now if you go back congratulations you've got the nav these all styles you already applied it which is great click on the topics you can see that you're on topics go back to netflix you are in the root now go back to topics awesome so all working great awesome next thing we want to do is uh, once we're done with the nav just add some content some more content and um, inside of header i think we should call it header instead instead of div and also give it a class name oops of header looks much better great uh, next thing we do is just add some more content here so mm -hmm.